Hey, you doing guys? This is Ryan. Welcome back to the channel. Today's a big day. I'm actually going to go pick up my Tesla Model 3 and I'm going to walk you guys through the whole experience of buying the car. So if you're in the market for buying the Tesla Model 3, you know what to expect. As you know, Tesla does not sell through dealers. You have to buy them direct from the factory and mine just got delivered to West Palm Beach, Florida. And this video is actually in collaboration with my wife, Jessica Giffen. She'll be documenting this experience through her eyes. She has a great channel. It's all about decor, lifestyle, uh, motherhood. So she'll be covering things on this channel about like what it's like to be a mom owning a Tesla Model 3. She's actually going to be the one that's going to drive this car day to day. We will also use it as a family car. We have a three-year-old boy and a baby girl coming in January. To get a lot of good information on that, make sure to go over her channel and check it out. I strongly recommend subscribing. And I'll just show a couple clips of her channel here. Jessica's channel is linked in the description below. So after you're done watching this video, follow that link and go watch her video and show her some support. She was actually my inspiration to start my channel and now she's almost at 20,000 subscribers. All right guys, so we ordered the car over a month ago and Tesla advertises on their website that it only takes two weeks to get the car, but that's actually if you live in California. If you're on the East Coast, it's gonna take much longer and also in the fourth quarter here, around holiday time, it's the biggest quarter for car sales. It took a little bit longer because of that. It actually took a total of five weeks to get the car. So if you live in Europe, it takes much longer to get the car. And in China, Tesla just opened their Gigafactory there so they can produce their own cars there and, and deliver them much faster to their customers. Europe, you're coming soon. Tesla just announced they're gonna be opening a Gigafactory where they will be producing cars in Berlin, Germany, probably in a couple years. But the problem with Europe is they have much more slower government and, uh, and labor force. China, they got out that Gigafactory super fast. But all in all, I hope one day Tesla gets a Gigafactory on the east coast of the United States so they can better serve their clients over here. So yeah, I'm gonna be taking my son over to my mother's house. I gotta say goodbye to our Ford Focus. It's been a great car. If anyone wants to buy it, hit me up in the comment section. <laughs> I'm just joking. And then I actually have the electrician coming out on Friday to run the 208 wire in the garage. And guys, I'm going to be documenting all kind of useful tips and what it's like to be a Tesla user of a car on this channel. So make sure you subscribe for more content like that and turn on the notification bell so YouTube notifies you every time I upload a video. So with that said, let's get into it. All right, guys, we just got to the Tesla Supercenter here in West Palm Beach. We're about to go in and I, I used outside financing for the car. I was able to get a better interest rate than going straight through Tesla, probably about a quarter basis point lower. So I got outside financing. I got to give them the check for that and switch over my license plate. And uh, here we are. This is in West Palm where they ship in all the Teslas for pickup and they got a bunch of Model 3s, Xs and Ss out front here. Let's go get our car. All right, guys, here she is. Here she is. Check her out. So everything was super easy. They had the car ready for me by the time I got here. The staff was super friendly. They, any questions I had, they set us up. Teslas don't really use keys or anything. You just uh, upload the key to your phone. So your phone is your key and they give you a backup device as well. He showed us how to set that up. We bought the full autonomous self-driving, so he was showing us some features with that. Also, the feature where you can auto summon the car, so if I wanted to call the car over here, right here, I could just do it on my phone. Basic stuff like that, you know, a bunch of rookie questions for people that have never owned a Tesla, and it's all kind of new for a lot of us as you feel like you're buying a piece of the future here. You're buying an electric car that with full self-autonomous driving, a bunch of cool features. So I'll definitely be making a lot more content about that. So make sure you guys stay tuned on the channel. I'll be doing all kinds of features and updates that the car does. This car is a piece of software, so they'll be doing over the air updates frequently to improve the vehicle as I own it. The Teslas gather all the data from all their vehicles on the network to make all the driving features better. I'm gonna finish up with them here and we'll wrap Right, we're gonna go for the first ride in our new Tesla Model 3. Jessica over here is gonna take us for a whip. Let's we'll see how this goes. <laughs> we should have brought a car charger. 
So yeah, like I said, the, the key is on the phone, but they give you these backup uh, like credit card looking things here. So there's Tesla on it. I don't know if you can see it. Wait, is this supposed to be? And then the other key is just your phone. So I'll keep this in my wallet as a backup in case like my phone dies or whatnot. We're gonna attempt to drive this. I feel like it's how I felt when I brought home my first son. Didn't really know if I'm allowed to have it or should have it or what to do with it. We're gonna learn. <laughs> the gentleman was very helpful. They give you a whole package of things with all of the devices for your at-home charging and also the charging if you're out and about. Pretty much for your at-home charging, it's just a, a dryer plug. So the same thing you have in your washing room. It's pretty much the same thing. So I'm gonna have the electrician come and help us out with that. Oh pretty my God. I took my foot off the brake just a tiny bit. <laughs> so the regenerative braking right now is on low. <laughs> oh, this brake thing is intense. Right now we're driving over to grab lunch and my wife is having a Proceed to the route. <laughs> Sorry, this car. Okay, that's <laughs> All right, we don't know what we're doing. These are going to be the bloopers. We'll have to make bloopers how dumb we are with this new car. Well, it's really different. So, like I was saying, Tesla uses self, um, they use regenerative braking. They don't rely on traditional braking to stop the car. Your, your traditional braking is where you obviously push a brake. This car has a brake, but they eventually are talking about getting to like one pedal, one pedal driving. And the car uses the regenerative energy to help recharge the battery, which I find to be interesting. That helps with things like range and, and whatnot. Jess, how do you like the regenerative braking so far? So I had him show me how to put it, <laughs> did you just feel that? Yeah. I had him show me how to put it on low, there's, um, I think it's called standard, which is like full regenerative braking, but I put it on low, which is still really hard to get used to, especially if you drive like me, I tend to coast have to have your foot at least a little bit on the gas at all times or it will go into a hard brake. And actually, like I think I have to get used to, you almost don't have to touch the brake once you're Are used you to the it. Brake? No, that's, <laughs> it almost comes to a stop as soon as you take your foot off the gas. So I literally, I just have to get used to knowing when I come up to stop when I want to take my foot off because it almost comes to a complete stop and this is on low. So I can't imagine what standards like. And it is strange when you first drive the car. What the salespeople tell you is that it's strange at first, but once you get used to it, you'll never want to go back to traditional braking. And also there's a cost savings to it. You know, brakes are expensive to change. And they say you only have to change the brakes probably every 100,000 miles. So we're talking in five years, I meant to change my brakes. Where in a traditional car, you may want to do that like every 24 months. It's weird, so I just was like, looking to see how fast I was going and my eyes went straight like straight ahead where I'm used to looking to like see how fast I'm going but I have to look to the side and then I just took my foot off the gas a little bit and it almost started breaking. <laughs> There's definitely some um you just have to get used to it. Yeah it's a, it's a very minimalistic car. There's only two buttons and they're on the steering wheel right here. Everything else is operated out of the screen here. The dash has nothing really on it to touch. The air you control through the screen, how you want it to go. It's very, actually, let me show you. So if you want to do the air, here's how the air is blowing out. I can spread it out to go like that. I can put it closer, up you know, down. up, up, down, probably. You know, it, it takes some, it, it's different, you know, and this, the idea is that, is this the future, you know? So we are, hopefully early pioneers. And now this car is definitely, some people related to like the iPhone moment where the car is very smart. Like for example, we got a thousand miles of free charging for using someone's referral link to get the car. And I was like, how do you let them know you have a thousand free miles? I said, when you plug it into the charger, the Tesla charger knows how many miles you have. I thought that was really cool. If you want a thousand free miles, you can use my referral link, which I'll put in the description below. You get a thousand free miles for buying the car, which it's silly not to do. And in disclosure, I get a free thousand miles as well. So win-win, win-win. 
This is our first cruise in the car. Like I said, we have so much to learn about the car, but we're gonna share all the information on this channel. I know I have a lot of people that enjoy my Tesla content. There's some of my better videos. I saw a Porsche and it looks so similar. This like model design looks very similar to me, to a Porsche. Like I thought I just passed this car, right? <laughs> it does take after a lot of Porsche features, definitely. We're gonna grab lunch and I'll see you after lunch. All right guys, we just got done with lunch. I gotta get back to work, but I just wanna say thank you so much for watching. And if you enjoyed my video, make sure to go over to Jessica's channel. She'll share her experience from her own perspective. And uh, as always guys, until next one.